good morning this morning we are going to be doing an excavation job for a paver patio and a little circle fire pit as well um, the job is down in Northport which with traffic and everything is about an hour and 20 minutes south so I'm gonna be taking my truck with the machine on the back and the dump truck. I'm gonna have to take some dirt and grass out of there and bring sand in there and get it prepped. These jobs in Northport, we have a subcontracting crew that we sub out that's a lot closer down there, but and they don't have their machine or anything like that so we go and we prep it for them and then they show up and lay the pavers so today will be a prep day and the biggest key is making sure I get out all of the tools that we may need from this truck the last thing I want to do is get down there and not have the right tools. Let me grab this cooler and throw it in the back of the truck. You know where Ajax uh, paving is? It's the same place where um, the dump is, Laurel Dump. Oh, oh, yeah, that's why I've seen all the trucks down there. Yeah. So, just like when you pull in there and you're headed to the dump. Is it on Laurel? Laurel, you take a, you take a left, right when you go over the yeah, interstate, just the like dump. you're going the dump, you come in here, I'm pretty sure it's the same way you go to the dump, yeah it is, or no, no, the no, dump's all the way down the road, yeah. so right after this new neighborhood, that street right there, right. you take a right, and you go all the way down in here, and then the scale house is right here, and you pull up, turn around, get on the scale house, go inside and tell the lady you want to get five yards. So you leave there, you turn around, you take a left. You go down here. and Pick it up. Yeah, Yeah, but you pass this area. It's somewhere like... It's somewhere over in here. You'll find the 250 sand pile. I think it's over here. Okay. They'll fill you up. You go back, get on the scale house, again. and the lady will tell you how much it actually is. Yeah. So if it's three yards, go tell them that you need two more and go back and get the rest. Nice. Yeah, that's... Yep. 
That's how it is there. Yep. And make sure you get fuel too if it needs fuel. Alright, we have arrived. That was quite a long drive. But we're here. The first thing I'm gonna do is unload this machine and get all the plywood off and start putting the plywood trail down. We're gonna be going on the left side here of this house, so it's a five foot gate, so it'll be a little bit tight of a fit, but good thing the machine's four feet. Make it work. So this is what we're dealing with. It's gonna be a big rectangle here, 12 feet out from the house, 50 feet long, and then five feet out walkway to a fire pit that is 15 by 15 square. And then it's actually a square fire pit, not a circle. So that's even a little bit easier. So Ethan's grabbing the laser. I got all the plywood set out and we're gonna get some elevation because we might just go right on top of this concrete with the pavers instead of taking it out and then have it be less of a step down so that we can get our elevation right going down because if we went from concrete height I have a feeling out there might be a little bit higher so we're gonna test it out with the laser so Ethan got the wrong rock we need 250 sand and he got some road base material and the place is 55 minutes away so he's got to go all the way back there return it and get the right stuff so that's what's happening now so in the meantime I'm going to laser this out
shut this laser down. I forgot that was still on. And then I'm gonna start digging out this top area and putting it in the fire pit. Cause I gotta bring in the sand first before I load the truck up. Cause we're bringing it back to the house to dump it, so. All right, let's start to do some digging. fix up the edges and uh, start grading this and then I'm gonna check the laser again and see what it looks like because we still don't know if we really want to go on top of the concrete or make the pavers the level of what the concrete is right now um, but I'm thinking we're probably gonna have to go on top of the concrete because the yard outside of the patio is still high it's like all flat right here and then starts to drop off where that little yellow dog toy is in the yard so i think to get our slope going down we're gonna have to go on top of the concrete but we'll see with the laser So I just lasered everything and uh, we'll be good to go on top of the pad. Um, there's a little high spot right here so I'm going to push that to the low spot right in front of it. And then this is a little bit of a low corner as well but everything else is around 4 to 3 inches. So 
think that'll be good. So now I'm just gonna wait for Ethan to get here with the sand and then we'll start loading some sand in here. It might take them a little while. All right, so the pavers have showed up. Ethan's on his way back. He got the right sand. And uh, so I'm just gonna scalp out this entryway here so that when I bring in the sand I don't have to scalp out it with it's full of sand there I might have I might get some sand mixed in and this fire pit is all like right now how it is the yard is sloping down towards the back fence and with the yard sloping towards the fence I need to build up this middle area because the fire pit actually like the actual fire pit in the middle has to be level so normally you want your fire pit to be the highest point and then it slope everywhere away from that so i'm gonna have to build the middle up a little bit to make sure that i can get it running all sides and come back this way too so with this little walk down to the fire pit, I'm just trying to scalp the grass out slightly. I'm not trying to dig any dirt out because it's starting to fall downhill from here. So I don't need to take any dirt out. I just need to get the grass out of there so that I can put my sand down and I have less chance of grass growing through the sand and then getting weeds in your pavers. So always got to scalp the grass out. That's much better. And so now I'll sit in the chair and continue waiting. <clears throat> it's a waiting game. Tore my plywood up. Golly. I've got to that I'm missing. <laughs>
now that we got this big pile of sand in the road, I got to move it to one side because it dumped pretty much in the middle of the road. So got to make sure cars can get around, got to keep the neighbors happy. So first things first, got to move the sand onto one side of the road before I take it to the back. So I accidentally put my GoPro batteries through the washer. They were in a pant pocket. So I've been having issues lately with them just turning off randomly. So I'm going to have to go get some new GoPro batteries to make sure that doesn't happen. But it happened quite a bit in this video, sadly. Yeah, I circled them. I saw them, but no, we're not gonna. We we haven't hit any yet. No. Okay. All right. I I had no idea there was a, a system back there. Yeah, so. I know where they're at though. Okay. Perfect. Um, but yeah. So he just said leave it in a pile, whatever you have left over. So I just zipped off to the side, maybe on the left side. So if he wants to get it out the backyard, it's easier for him to get to it. Okay. Alrighty. Yeah, Alright. Sounds good. Alright. Thanks. Alright, see. Yeah. There's one over there in that corner, and then there's one on the side of that that I, I didn't found. I not see any over here. No. I hope you got fly spray. It's fly central out here, so I was.
there's like not one sprinkle over there, but I can't find any. Like. Yeah, are you making sure that it's sloping down? Mm -hmm. It looks flat. It looks even higher to the left, but it's just a little deceiving. Right now, that it's like a inch of fall. Okay. You want more? A little bit more is fine. I mean, like, if it's an inch of fall right now, then that's fine because when they compact it, they'll screed it to whatever, however far they want. Yeah, that's good. So the guy dropping off the papers is Clint, this pallet. Well, it's not a pallet, but cube of pavers that he clamped uh, started falling off. One of the bands actually came off, so I had to go over there with a bucket and uh, scoop them up. But, man, when you release one of these bands, it's going to be timber falling down. So hopefully not too many break off of that. So I just put five yards of uh, 250 sand back here and Ethan is on his way to go get five more from a closer spot the last spot it was really cheap and it was in between the house and the job so I had him stop there but it's 50 minutes away so we're not going back there we're going to a local place that a little bit more expensive but at least it'll be fast so got that put the laser on it it all looks good um it's hard to tell right now because we're not compacting it today so just leaving it a little high that's what you have to do um so we have this section right here that i still have to put sand in and then also this area so once he comes back with that five yards i will start loading up the dump truck after he dumps it with this stuff so then i can scalp the rest of this out and then we can fill the rest in it's going to be close but i think the five yards will do it my gopro batteries went through the washer machine and i had them in my back pocket so and they're not working correctly they just keep turning off randomly so I'm not sure how much more GoPro footage I'll be able to capture, but I'm going to keep trying it. They just want to turn on and work when they want to. So I got to go to the store this afternoon and get some more batteries. But for now, I'm going to wait for Ethan and I'll uh, record as much as I can on my phone if my GoPro doesn't cooperate. All right, Ethan got another load of sand. The dump truck won't dump it because it's so heavy. I'm going to see if I can help him out.
more scoops in there. What? So I'm gonna throw a few more scoops in there. Yeah. Got some calluses on you. We did leave that little pile behind because the customer, we made a deal where I would only haul away as much as the dump truck can hold and uh, that helped him out on price so I left him a little pile in the corner that he'll have to deal with. Water. Yep. Hand water every day with the drought. I'm gonna grab the oh God, leaf blower. Grab the what? Oh yeah. Yep. So we got all the sand in there and uh, I put a pile where the fire pit is so that the crew can level it the way that it needs to be leveled. <coughs> we'll go back there and show you real quick before I start making a dust storm out here. So here it is, the layout. Like I was saying, I put a pile in the middle because they have to slope this all away from the fire pit that's gonna be in the middle. So they got some sand to work with now there. Looking good. I'm gonna come back here and rake this out a little bit, smooth it out smooth the ruts out but first thing I'm gonna do is blow this road off I ran smack over that coney foot in front of Terry I didn't see it when I pulled up Good thing they're flexible cones. I heard a crunch and I was like, what the hell did I just run over? Driving your skid steer in someone's yard is always inevitably going to tear their grass up, but the least you can do is take your ruts out. So I make it a habit of always taking ruts out of the yard after I'm done there, and it makes the customer a lot happier than just leaving it. Alrighty. It is late, five o'clock. But it's time to get out of here. All right, folks, that is it for today, and I will see you guys in the next one. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir.